So in prostate cancer, I'd say the leading breakthrough um, is just the uh, incredible wealth of data we've had over the last few years, which has really changed the standard of care uh, and the way we practice specifically with respect to um, upfront, first-line metastatic uh, castration-sensitive prostate cancer. Um, you know, even in my uh, time through training and into, into practice, um, I've bore witness to sort of a lot of these uh, practice changing trials, uh, you know, first with the presentation of the charted trial uh, in uh, 2014, uh, and then five years later, uh, Dr. Christopher Sweeney, uh, the same investigator on that trial, presenting now the Enzymet trial uh, showing the benefit of upfront enzalutamide plus ADT. So, um, treating prostate cancer or metastatic prostate cancer specifically um, has no longer become or is no longer um, as passive, as I would say, as it might have been previously, where in years gone by, people would be started on androgen deprivation, plus or minus bicalutamide, uh, and then, you know, you basically just wait uh, until, you know, there's evidence of progression and then react. Now, um, it's clear that uh, doubling down and being more proactive and trying to hit the disease early and hit it hard uh, has major and uh, consequential impact in terms of improving uh, clinical outcomes long term and these aren't trivial you know in oncology I say a lot of us uh, over the years have been a bit jaded specifically you know even prior to the uh, advent of immunotherapy and other large breakthroughs where a positive trial you know showing uh, an improvement in survival of three months was deemed you know a huge success um, you know I would push back now and say that that those sorts of, of um, uh, of sort of gains while are still meaningful depending on the disease type and sort of what you have and what your therapies are available, that still might be very meaningful. <clears throat> but in prostate cancer now, you know, we have <clears throat> trials where people are, are living uh, a year longer than they were before um, just because we're using well-recognized drugs even. These aren't even breakthrough drugs, Abirato and Azalutamide. Uh, these are things that have been in practice for castration-resistant disease for, you know, five plus years, um, even longer. But by using them sort of early, um, you know, it really has uh, the uh, potential to uh, profoundly impact the disease biology, the disease course, uh, and, uh, and really make a difference. So for me personally, I'd say that is how, um, you know, over the last few years specifically, um, prostate cancer treatment really has been turned on its head and really how we're making great strides moving forward.